So come on to your backs. We're gonna be in an isometric dead bug for about 30 seconds. We will go into more of a warm up after this. But in this position, back flat to the floor, active core. So the pelvis has been tucked, pelvic floor has been lifted. You're gonna go ahead and lift your feet up. Goal is to get the shins to be about at a parallel angle. Uh, hands can be wherever you want them to be. If you feel better with them flat on the floor, that is 100% fine. They can also be up towards the sky. We're here for about 15 more seconds. Shoulders are drawn down your back. You're breathing. Pelvic floor continues to lift. Excellent work. We're here for about eight more seconds. Very, very good. We're here for three, for two, and one. While we're here, go ahead, relax. Bring those knees apart and just do a quick little side to side rock. Loosening up the hips and that lumbar spine just a little bit. Start to rock forward and back. We're going to be going into a little glute activation coming up next. So we'll go into a side supported position. If you'd like to, you can be down on the forearm. Bottom leg is bent regardless of whether you're up on the forearm or your palm. From here, lift the hips. We're going to abduct the top hip for two, for three, four, Five. Foot is flat. Seven. Eight. Nine. Brief little hold for ten. Nine. Eight. Check out the angle of your foot. Make sure it's nice and flat. We have five. Four. Core is pulled in. Three. Two. One. Switch it on over to the other side. Again, you're in a supported position so that bottom knee is bent. We lift on up and we abduct for one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and hold. Check out the foot, make sure it's flexed. Heel is in line with the toes or a little higher than the toes. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it on down. Quadruped position or a full plank. I'm gonna start in quadruped. We're going for scapula push-ups. So we're retracting the shoulder blades and then we're pushing them away. Slowly retract down, exhale as you push away. If you are ready, you can step back to that full plank position, otherwise stay right here. Keep length around your neck, so don't let the shoulders hug up by your ears. We're here for about 10 more seconds, pushing strong. Control it down, strong push, control down. Strong push, perfect. Take the right hand behind the head. We're gonna try to tap right elbow to the floor and then exhale as we open up. Bring the elbow to the floor, exhale, open up. We have just three more, it's a quick little set of five. Opening up, getting a little bit of thoracic extension. One more, elbow to the floor, open it up. Hand to the floor, switch it out. Left hand behind the head. Fingertips just rest on your head. They are not pulling. Elbow towards the floor, open it up. Towards the floor, open up. Two more, very, very good. We're gonna go through all of this just one more time. So we're just building a slow, gentle, steady stream of heat. We're gonna start on that isometric dead bug once again. So we're back on our backs, back is flat. Draw the knees up, shins are parallel to the floor. Core is active the entire time. If you want to try something a little different, take your hands, place them in between the knees, separate the knees slightly with the hands, and now try to push the knees together. So you've got that resistance, working a little bit of the abductors. Hug the shoulders down. We've got 10, nine, lower core pulls up and in, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Again, grab the knees, a little side to side movement. When you feel good there, you can go to a forward and back rock. We'll go into our side supported hip abduction, warming up our glutes. Setting yourself up, so you're in your side position. This time I'm gonna come up to the palm. We lift for one, for two, Three, we want to keep this line nice and steady. We have five, six, exhale, contract the core as you lift. 
eight, nine, remember we hold for 10, nine, push tall through the shoulder, seven, six, five, four, check out the foot, two, and one. Bring yourself over to the other side. Setting up for this flex, we lift for one, for two, exhale and lift three, for four, five, six, seven, very, very good, eight, nine, hold it up. We have a 10 second hold, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and bring it in. Final round of scapula push-ups. This time I am gonna come up to a full plank position. We're here for about 30 seconds. Gliding the scapula apart and then gliding them together. Pushing the floor away, getting a little closer towards the floor. Not a clunky motion, nice and smooth. If you're in that full plank position, quads are fired up, you're nice and tight. If you're in any position, quadruped or plank, core is active. 10 more seconds. Very good, we have five, four, three, two, one. If you're in a plank, come down to your knees, right hand behind the head. Lower it down, elbow to the floor, open up. We lower down and we twist open for two. Three, we open up for four. One more, place the hand down, swap it up. Hand behind the head, lower and twist. Lower it down and we twist. Smooth lower, we twist. Lower, perfect, one more. Excellent work. Okay, if anything is tight, go ahead, give it a shake. I'm gonna explain what we're doing. Slightly different format than what we've done this week. We're gonna be working in a range of either 30 seconds or a minute for most of the exercises today. So we're gonna do a hip dip on one side for 30 seconds, time stays running. We go right over to the other side. So you wanna switch over kind of quickly. For your hip dip, two options. You're here, you lower down about two inches and push. So lower about two inches, push. Other option, you're on your forearm. Your hip might touch the floor but you lift back up. After 30 seconds, we flip. We're then gonna go into a reverse lunge with a bicep curl. You're gonna isolate. So we're gonna step back with that right foot first. We're here. We never stand all the way up. So we stay here as opposed to standing all the way up. You stand all the way up if you absolutely need a break, okay? Then, fun times, we're gonna pretend to jump rope for one minute. I hate it too, but we gotta do it. <laughs> Low impact. Okay, so getting ready for our hip dip. 30 seconds on one side. Just so you can mentally prepare, we're doing all of this for three rounds. So getting ready, however you wanna support yourself. First side, we're taking off in three, in two. Here we go. So we lower and push. We lower and push. What I don't wanna see is this. I don't see that yet from anyone, but don't go fast. Shh. Inhale down, Shh. exhale push. Inhale down, Shh. exhale push. You have 10 more seconds. Again, we're gonna simply rotate right on over to the other side. Shh. In four, in three, in two, rotate. Clock stays running. Setting yourself up, you're in it already. Take your time. From here, we have 15 seconds to get weights and get ourselves ready for our reverse lunge with a bicep curl. Inhale down, exhale push. Lower with control, strong push. You have about seven seconds left. Staying nice and tall. We have three, we have two, and one. So again, we have 15 seconds. So get yourself a set of weights. If you don't want to use weights, that is also totally fine. 30 seconds, stepping back with the right leg. We take off in, starting a hip hinge. Here we go. We curl to the bottom, get to the starting position. External rotation, 
We don't need to move fast. We're staying very, very active through that left leg. We're never letting it come out of tension. Very, very good. We have 10 more seconds and we'll switch sides. So, so good. Keep that breath nice and fluid. Drive the knee out. Switching sides in two and one. Automatic switch. Right foot stays center. You are stepping back with the left. Staying in your hip hinge. External rotation. Very good. We have less than 20 seconds. Curl. Half stand. Curl. Half stand. So, so good. We're almost there. Staying strong for five. For three. For two. One. 15 seconds. Nice work. Getting ready for one minute of jump rope. Imaginary jump rope. Taking off in. Three, two, and here we go. So it doesn't need to be a massive jump. Should just be a little bit of room to get that fake jump rope underneath your feet. Very good. If two feet doesn't feel good, you can of course kind of jog it out. Little plyometric movement for us. Try to keep shoulders right over your hips. So don't come back. Also don't come way too far forward. 30 seconds left. Lower core drawn up and in. Swing those arms. Elbows tuck in. Nice work, 20 seconds. You can do it, come on. Easy little jumps. Less than 10. Very, very good. We have four, three, two, and rest. Nice work. Getting ready for our hip dip. So setting up. This is why we want to now take this nice and slow, right? Heart rate has elevated. Easy pace. Three, two, here we go. Little dip. Strong push. Little dip. Really connect to that base oblique. Keeping the core under tension. Strong lift. Control it down. You have less than 15 seconds. You're looking good. Stay with it. Push tall. If you absolutely have to stop, just try to hold the position. Rotating in two and one. Rotate it out. Get right into it. Little dip. Strong push. Breathe, inhale down, exhale as you push. 15 seconds. Inner thighs are squeezing, glutes are squeezing. You have eight, tiny dip, strong push. You have four, three, two. Go ahead and rest, get your dumbbells. Getting ready for that reverse lunge with a bicep curl. We will start by stepping back the right leg. In three, in two, here we go. Right foot steps back, we stand. Half stand, remember. External rotation, keep those shoulders pulled back. Lower core is drawn up and in. You remain in a hip hinge. There you go, beautiful work everyone. 10 more seconds. Find the breathing pattern that works for you, but make sure you're breathing. Pairing breath with movement. Go ahead and switch. Left foot steps back, bring it back up. External rotation. Right foot is glued to the floor. Yes. Come on, 15 seconds. Arms are burning. Heart rate is getting up there. Very good. You have five. So, so good. Three, two, and one. 15 seconds. Getting ready for jump rope. Remember, if my pace and any of this doesn't work for you, slow it down or pick it up, whatever, whatever works for you. Three, two, here we go. Little jumps. 
Perfect. Get those arms in. Little revolutions. There you go. Nice work. Little shock absorbers. Building bone density. <laughs> it's true. 30 seconds. Just a little bit longer than 30. Doing great. One more round. And then we switch it up. We do not do any more jump rope after this. <laughs> Thank God. 20 seconds. Push, push, push. There you go. Nice work. 10. Perfect. Five. Getting a little break in two and one. Woo. All right. Last time we hip dip. Taking off in seven seconds. We're going in three, in two, little dip, strong push. Little dip, strong push. Don't collapse into the shoulder. Inner thigh squeeze, tiny dip, big push. Very, very good. 10 more seconds. So, so good. Rotating in four, in three, two, rotate. Other side, squeeze those inner thighs. Glutes stay nice and active. You're pushing super tall and strong through your shoulder. 20 seconds. Nice work. We have 10. Stay strong. Really connect to that base oblique. Four, three, two, and one. Getting ready for reverse lunge with your bicep curl. 10 seconds. We'll start by stepping back with the right foot. We take off in four, two. Here we go. Right foot steps back. We meet at the bottom with a bicep curl. So good. I'm inhaling down, exhaling as I stand. Remember, it's a half stand, keeping ourselves under tension. We have less than 15 seconds. 10. Switching in seven, six, five, four, three, two. Switch it out. Left foot steps back. You're doing such a great job. You can do it, come on. Inhale down, exhale, push. Inhale down, exhale, push. Really feel that right hip. Stay nice and active. You can do it. Just about 10 seconds. So strong. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo, that got me. Okay, jump rope, last time. Again, no more jump rope after this one. Four, three, two, here we go. Get those arms working for you. Nice work. You'll get a break after this while I explain what's up next. Beautiful. For your next set, you're gonna either want a resistance band or super light weights. You will also want a mid-size weight as well. Less than 30. Little tiny jumps, come on. Very good, 15. Shoulders stack right over your hips. You have six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. Okay, a little breather. Grab water. I will show you what is next. All right. So, we are going to be doing crunch to 
two crunches to a leg drop. That's the first piece. So what that looks like is legs are either here or they're here. We start, head down, we lift two times, and then we lower the legs and bring them back up. If the legs are here, you can lower the legs and bring them back up. So it's always two crunches to one lower. We do that for one minute. If you fatigue, you hold a dead bug. We're then gonna use super light weights. Option for one or two. And what we do is they start out in the front. We step forward. We're gonna pull open, come back and push. We step forward, pull open. If you've got a band, you hold the band and you pull. Either works. Then we go into sumo thrusters. Feet are wide, weight is right here. We're here. So that can be light or medium, okay? Same idea, 30 seconds on, or sorry, um, one minute of work for most of these, yes, for all of them, and 15 seconds to transition. So we are getting ready for two crunches to a leg drop. So on your back, legs are up, you're already in an active core position. We take off in three, in two, here we go. Crunch, crunch, leg drop, pull it back up. And you go again, exhale as you crunch, don't pull on the neck, hold the top of that crunch, legs lower, you come back up. Lower the legs, TVA is pulled in and wrapped. Trying to keep your back flat to the ground the entire time. You're about 30 seconds in. Little tiny movements, pretty slow, steady pace. We've got about 20 seconds. Keep that crunch as you lower the legs, coming up, lower back. Almost there. You have 10 seconds. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. We have three. We have two. And one. Beautiful work. That's a lot of time <laughs> in an active core position. So just take your time with that one. Getting ready for your alternating forward lunge with the pullback. Weights start kind of right here at the chest. We step forward in two and one. Left foot forward. Weights out in front. Pull open to the left. Find your stability. Pull it back. Land, weights out, pull it open, bring it back. If you need to, back knee can rest on the floor, or you can try to let it hover. Keep the shoulders down the back. We're working on so many different things here. We're working on anti-rotation. We're working on proper shoulder mechanics. We're working on external rotation. We've got about 25 seconds left. We want to go pretty light with weight so that we're not overacting or relying too much on the traps, specifically the upper traps. You have 10 seconds. This can all be done with no weight as well. Two and one. Getting ready for sumo thrusters. I'm gonna take one dumbbell, and that's gonna be my weight. We move in four, feet are wide, toes are turned out. Three, two, here we go. We lower and drive. If this was 30 seconds, I would probably be moving a little faster. But because it's a minute, I'm really kind of Taking my time, move at a pace that is suitable for you. With your sumo squat, don't let the knees drive in. Keep them driving out. We have less than 30. Sit low and push. 20 seconds. If you need to, you can take the overhead press out. Just keep it at the chest. You have 10. 
Watch your form. There you go. Come on. Two and one. So good. All right, back on our back. Two crunch to a leg drop in four. Legs are up, straight or bent. Here we go. Exhale, crunch. Inhale back, exhale up, hold. Lower those legs and pull. Inhale back, exhale up. Inhale back. There we go. Beautiful work. I can't stress it enough. You've got to move at a pace that works for you. Make sure the back is staying flat. If you can't get it to stay flat, try an isometric hold. So just hold the position. 30 seconds. Control and lift. Nice work. Less than 20. Control and lift. How about 10 seconds? So, so good. You can do it. We have five. We have three, two, and one. All right, forward lunge with our pullback. Taking off in six. In three, weight start right at the chest. Two, here we go. Left foot steps forward, press them out and open. Bring it back and pull back. We step it up. We turn and open, all with control. Step it back, Liam, find that stable position before you try to open. You've got it. Remember that back knee can come down and rest on the floor if you need it to. External rotation, drive that front knee out. That'll help with balance. You're so strong, come on. Nice work. Nice. Very, very good. There you go. If balance is an issue, you can leave your head straight ahead. You don't have to turn and look. Almost there, 10 seconds. Woo. You've got it. Three, two, one. Nice work. Sumo thrusters. Find a weight that's gonna challenge you, but that you can complete one minute with. Going in three, two, here we go. Core is tight, glutes are on. Catch the weight, send it. Catch and send. Breathe, core is tight. Sitting low. You have options. No weight. Holding the weight just at the chest. You have options. Do what's right for you. 20 seconds. We'll go through one more time. And then we break. 15. You're strong. Come on. Push. What are those mental barriers that are coming up? Bring your mind back. Two and one. Woo! On our back. Can you stay present in the sensations that are coming up? Try not to run from them. Two. Here we go. We lift and lift. Go into your leg drop. Smooth crunch, chin to the ceiling. Smooth leg drop. Very, very good. We have 40 seconds left. You're doing a fantastic job. Remember, you can always hold the position if you need to, meaning just hold like a dead bug. You're doing great. Less than 30, squeeze. And lift. We have about 20 seconds. Every movement has a breath. 15. Exhale as you crunch and crunch. Control, squeeze those inner thighs as you lower. Here we go. 
We have five. We have four. Three, two, one. You're so close. <laughs> Lunge, pullbacks. Taking off in eight seconds. You're doing great. Again, sit with the discomfort, whatever comes up. Two, and here we go. We step forward and we peel. We step, stabilize as you peel. Shoulders stack right over the hips. You're strong, you are capable. As Glennon Doyle says, we can do difficult things. This is one of them. Can you follow your breath? Follow each exhale. Send out whatever negative energy is coming up for you. So strong. Come on. 20 seconds. One more move of this set. Then you get a break. We're doing perfect for time. Come on. Almost. You have six. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Sumos, and then a break. Just so you know, these get really hard for me too. We go in two, and here we go. Core stays drawn up and in. Every movement has a breath. Inhale down. Exhale up. Strong. 30 seconds. You can do it. Come on. 20 seconds, 15, keep that torso upright, don't collapse, come on, you've got five, four, three, two, Woo. nice job, towel off, grab a sip of water, Woo. That was a doozy. All right. So, up next, we got some stuff. Some really fun stuff. Okay. So, I can't breathe. All right. So, we start here, and then we lift our hips. We come out and we lift. We're out and we lift. If you don't want to keep your head lifted, you don't have to. And lift. If you want to keep the arms down, you can come here and kind of rock into a reverse crunch. That's what we're doing, reverse crunches. Then we're going to go into a push-up row and reach. Here's the thing. I'm going to do it on dumbbells. If you don't want to be on dumbbells, that's totally fine. We go push up, we rotate the feet, and we row and reach. You can drop to your knees, do your push up. You can come to a side supported position and row and reach. You can do all of this with no weights. Totally fine. Okay, and then the last one weight or no weight, we start low. We tap the knee and we tap the knee for one minute. All of this is one minute rounds. So it's a bit of a doozy, but you've got it. So we're gonna start with that tap out to a reverse crunch. We're taking off in five, in three, two, here we go. So we start extended and we lift the hips. We extend and lift and lift the hips off the floor. Squeeze the big toes and the heels together. Be as steady and stable through the center as you can. 
Nice work. We are just now at 30 seconds. So remember, options. You can hold this position. You can put the head down. You can work on just rocking the hips. So many different ways to go to keep you active and continue to build that strength. 15 seconds. You can do it. Lift those hips. Extend and lift. Extend and lift. Almost three, two, and one. Wow, that was a that was a bit rough. Okay, getting ready. Push up, row and reach. Push up, row and reach. One row and re reach per rep. Here we go. So we push up, turn the feet, row and reach. We go back. Push up. Turn the feet, row and reach. Really working on stacking the shoulders. Strong, you've got it. So, so good. We're about 30 seconds in. We're moving at a pretty slow pace. We do not need to fly. We wanna make sure we're safe, especially as we're bringing weights up over our heads. Come on, about 20 seconds left. You can do this. Come on. We have 15. Squeeze and push. We have 10. Going to our legs next. In six, in five, four, three, two, one. All right. Going for our lunge tap backs. I am gonna hold the weight. You do not need to hold the weight. We're taking off in four, three, two. Here we go. So the knee taps, we stay in the squat. External rotation, beautiful. Core is active, tap the knee. There you go, everyone, very good. Sit low, external rotation. Elbows tuck under if you're holding that weight. Easy pace. So good, 30 seconds. You can do it. Stay in it. We are in this together. You might feel like you're alone, but you're not. We got this. Come on, 15 seconds. Stay low, seven, come on. We have three, we have two, and one. Stand it up. Get ready for our kick out to a roll back. Reverse crunch. Five seconds. Woo! Three, two, here we go. Extend and crunch. Extend. Use that lower core to help lift the hips. You can do it. Smooth roll, lift the hips. 30 seconds. Go to whatever variation you need to when you need to. Come on, 15, back stays flat, come on, three, two, and one, woo, all right, next one, I'm going to demonstrate this round with just one weight. Taking off in two and one. So we do push up, rotate the feet, and row. Bring the weight down, place it on the other side. We do a push up, rotate the feet, row and reach. This is a great option if your hands aren't super comfortable on the weights. That way you get a flat palm when you do your row and reach. You get an offset push up 
as well. About 30 seconds left. Nice work. 25. Very good. We have 20 seconds. Very good. 15. Steady through your hips. Strong through the chest and shoulders. 10 seconds. We have five. So good. We have three. We have two. And one. Nice work. All right, big set. One minute of our tap backs. Taking off in eight seconds. We start low. In three, two, here we go. Don't even think about the time. Think about your breath. Tuck the elbows in. Sit low. Other option is you stand up and step back. Same idea, just gives your legs a little bit of length in between each rep. You're doing great. Find that control, gently tap the knee, stand it back up to your squat position. 30 seconds. Tuck the elbows in, core is on. Nice and strong, so, so good. 20 seconds, come on. If your neck is getting aggravated, put the weight down. Come on, push, push, we've got 10. We have six, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, last round. Doing great. These are hard. These are really hard. Three, two, here we go. And scoop, extend, scoop. Here we go, come on. And lift the hips, reach and lift, reach. You can also try cradling the head and rocking if your neck is getting a little too involved. 30 seconds. You can do it. Last time with this, come on. Get those hips off the floor. Come on. 15, you can do it. Scoop, come on, scoop. So strong. We have five, we have three, two, and one. Damn, those are hard. Okay, row and reach with a push up. We take off in four, in three, two, here we go. Stack and row, nice work. All the control that you can maintain, that you can show, that's what we're seeking. We're not seeking speed, all control. So good, come on. Just about 30 seconds, you can do it. Beautiful, come on. Nice work, 15. 10, so good, we have four, two, and one, nice work. Okay, adjust our step backs. Now we get a break, and then we'll find enough time to get through one thing. Here we go, and step it back. Break is coming. You've done such a great job. Nice work. Breathe. Take your time. Tap the knee. Get back to your squat. Tap and squat. 
Nice work. Tuck the elbows. Less than 30. Core is active. Step it back. External rotation, 20 seconds. Come on. I know they burn, but you can do this. Come on. There we go. Just about 10. Lower core pulls up and in. We have five. We have three. Two. Rest. Whew. Full on breather. Nice work. Okay. Our rounds this time are gonna get much shorter. Let me just reset this. So we are working oops, for 30 seconds and we are gonna rest for 10. There we go, got it. Okay, perfect. First thing that we're doing, we're in a reclining position, hands behind the head. Spine stays long. If you can't keep your spine long, I want you to reach, center, reach, center. So if you're rounding, just do these reaches. Come to the center and then reach. We're then gonna go into alternating reverse lunge to a skip. So what that looks like, you're here, skip, put that foot down, other one. Skip, put it down. One minute right there. Final one, you're gonna grab a decent kettlebell or weight. You're gonna hold it by the horns right here and we march. If you wanna make it harder, go overhead, okay? This is how we finish. So come onto our backs, our butts, I should say. All right, take it off in three, two, here we go. You're not actually trying to make contact. You're lifting the knee and twisting the elbow. Do they come closer together? Yes. But we don't need to be rounding down to touch. 10 seconds. Exhale as you lift and twist. We have four, three, two. Go ahead, stand it up. In eight seconds, we start with alternating reverse lunge to a skip. If you don't want to skip, it's a knee drive. Taking off in two. Here we go. Switch feet each time. Step it back and drive. Step back, drive. Really send your knee up. Come on. Almost there. 15. Up. Explode up. Come on. We got it. Two and one. Grab your kettlebell or whatever weight. Take it off in four, three, two. Here we go. So this might seem easy, but we are trying to stay as steady and stable as we can. So if there were a wall of nails on both sides of your body, you're trying not to sway into it. If you're in the overhead position, hide your ribs, two and one. Perfect. We're back down on our butts. Three, two, here we go. Remember, other option, go ahead and direct the arms either with lifting the legs or without. You're still getting that same movement. 10 seconds. Come on. Sit up tall. Working our hip flexors. Come on. Very important. Two and one. Nice work. Get ready for that lunge and skip. We're 
We're taking off in four, three, two. Step it back and drive. Come on. Keep the core active. It'll help you get airborne. A smoother, more efficient manner. External rotation. Come on. Big jump. Up. Come on. And we're up. Nine seconds. Push, push. Come on. Three, two, and one. Woo. Heavy weight. Going in three, two, go. Smooth drives. Lift the knee up. Come on. Almost there. Six seconds. Push tall. Come on. Go ahead, rest. Woo! Two more rounds. Sit it back. We go in three, two. Here we go. Exhale and twist it up tall. Come on. Less than 15. Five. We have three, two, and one. Second to last time on our reverse lunge to a skip. Three, two, here we go. Drive. Come on. So strong. Stay with it. You can always take out the skip, but you can do this. Come on. Push. 10 seconds. Come on. Keep it going. Four, three, Two and one. Getting your heavy weight. Second to last time. I am not going overhead this time. Two, one. Just to show this other position. Still working your core. Still working your stabilizers. Come on. Exhale, lift that knee. We have 10. Shoulders stack over your hips. Come on. We have two and one. Final time. We are almost there. Taking off in three, two. Here we go. Sit up tall. Bring that knee to meet your elbow. Head in that direction. 14 seconds. You can do it. Seven. Pull the core in. Two. And one. Final time. This is where I get excited. We're at the end. Three. Two. Here we go. And drive. Drive. Come on. Big drive. So smooth. Come on. Very good. Come on. Get some air. 12 seconds. Skip. And skip. Come on. Send that knee up. Three. Two. One, final time with your heavy weight. Going in three, two, here we go. Start to bring your heart rate down a little bit while doing this if you can. So 
So good. How about 10 seconds? Smooth list. So good. Strong. Elbows tuck. Two and one. <laughs> Woo! All right. We're going to start off stretching wise, feet wide. Take a big inhale up. Exhale, let it out. One more up. As you exhale this time, right hand to the side, and you're gonna bend over to the right. Supporting yourself on your leg. I like to tighten this quad up. I'm trying to get a good stretch through the side body. Reaching, breathing. Take an inhale. Smooth exhale. Next inhale lifts you up. Up through the center again, inhale. Exhale, another inhale up. Exhale, start to go over to your left. Find support on that left leg. Big, long stretch through that right side body. Starting to breathe a little slower. Inhale, exhale, inhale up. We are gonna go ahead and interlace the hands behind our back. Feet can come in a little bit closer. We're gonna start with knees bent. Twist and punch the hands out behind you. And then I want you to forward fold, placing the belly on top of the thighs. So legs are bent, letting the arms, hands fall towards the floor on the other side of your head. Head is really heavy. You're here for five more seconds, then you're gonna release your hands to the floor in three, two, slowly release them to the floor. Left hand comes to the center. You're gonna to start to straighten out the right leg as you peel up towards the right with the right hand. Go ahead, place the right hand on the floor towards the center. Straighten out the left leg, bend the right. Peel the left hand up towards the ceiling. Breathe. Hands to the floor. We're gonna soften the knees. Roll the spine up. Right arm across the chest. Final stretch right here. Really big, big inhales, smooth exhales. Open up, switch it out. Pull it across the chest. Excellent work, everyone. Please check your email on Sunday. The schedule next week will be changing slightly. I'm not quite sure how yet, but it will be changing slightly. Remember, all of these workouts are recorded. Currently, they are available for free on YouTube. Hopefully, if I have my shit figured out by Monday, they will no longer be for free on YouTube. They will be on my website. So, I will keep you posted. It will be updated in the newsletter.